previously on Cross Current TV. Uh, he's gonna put his money where his mouth is here in a second, and uh, we're gonna get the hook out. Two, three, two, three. But it begs the question, what would happen if I got a hook in my eye? <laughs> I'm not gonna put a hook in your eye, man. <laughs> <laughs> Softy. Hey, I'm Dave with Cross Current TV. And I'm Kevin, one of the directors of Cast Alaska, our fly fishing movie. And now we're gonna talk about uh, how to get a hook out of the eye. So we'll see what we do if we do get a hook in our eye. Up here in Alaska, there are times of the season where uh, we do have quite a bit of salmon in the river and uh, the expression combat fishing comes into play. There's lots of people standing shoulder to shoulder and uh, not necessarily talking about you actually hooking yourself in the eye, but it could be the guy sitting right next to you that pulls his hook out or comes flying out of a fish and it hits, uh, hits you in the eye. We want to really stress the importance of wearing uh, polarized glasses. Not only does it help you see the fish and see the stream bottom for wading and stuff like that, but it adds that extra protection. So if something does hit you in the eye, those polarized glasses may um, stop that hook from actually getting into your eye. So it's always good to have uh, a good hat and sunglasses when you're out fishing to avoid you know, hooks into the head and face area. So in the unfortunate circumstance that you actually do get a hook in the eye, first of all, you don't want to try to remove it. Uh, we showed a couple field things here that you get it stuck in limbs and stuff like that, that you can actually do that relatively safely. But if you actually do get a hook in the eye, one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to panic and try to pull that out uh, in the field. You can actually do significantly more damage that way. You're going to have to get to an emergency room. So in this episode, we're showing you basically how to stabilize an injury like that until you can get to the emergency room. I carry quite an extensive first aid kit, but for something that gets stuck in the eye, um, you really uh, only need basically a roll of gauze or something similar to it. Um, that's pretty much all you're gonna need. Some of the aftermarket stuff, like, I, like in my first aid kit, you actually have iPads, so they're definitely not necessary. They're just kind of an added bonus. If you actually have something penetrating in the eye, one of the worst things you can do is just pad that one eye. If you pad that one eye, sure, there's not much gonna get into it, but if the other eye moves around, your injured eye is gonna automatically move with it because it's just, they're connected. So it'd be different if you actually got a, a twig or something like that stuck in your eye and it came out and you have an injured eye to start off with. Um, it's not as important, but if you actually still have something stuck in your eye that uh, any kind of eye movement is gonna cause more damage, you definitely want to remember to cover both eyes. So one of an easy way of doing it is you just take some gauze and um, you never want to put direct pressure on the eye. You always want to kind of make a dressing to where it stays off the eye and just kind of covers it from stuff coming in. So you can just start with the gauze dressing and what I usually do is I just kind of roll it real loosely. So I'll give it a couple rolls like that so you just kind of got a, an open roll. And then real easy, what you do is you just fold it in half. And it actually kind of makes a donut. So that donut right there, uh, by just folding the gauze in half, um, is what's gonna give that padding around the eye so nothing actually touches the injured eye. So let's say Kev's got uh, a hook stuck in his right eye. What you basically do, kind of pat it like that so you just hold it like that, and then you would just take the, the rest of this and wrap around, covering the left eye as well. So now that you have a, uh, you have a padding around the injured eye, so nothing's touching, nothing's touching the eye at all, and then this eye is actually also covered too, so um, that other eye isn't moving around at the same time. Now, I understand that if this, this happens on the river, you just kind of got to, you just kind of have to do your best with what you got there. Sometimes it's not uh, appropriate to cover somebody's both eyes and then pull them back up through the river, stumbling over everything. But just know that um, when you cover both eyes, you limit the damage that's done by that hook. My first aid kit comes with um, a set of iPads too. Um, you know, they're nice to have, they're not necessary, but what they come down to is they are sterile, so kind of important, especially if you do have a penetrating injury to the eye that may have uh, some room for infection. And basically all they are is just little gauze pads. You can make these in the field pretty easy too with a pair of scissors and just normal gauze. If there's not something sticking out of the eye, you can actually just lay it over the eye and then wrap gauze around it that way. If it's real bright and sunny out um, and you wanna cover both eyes, these things do split in half too. You can actually use this one for the unaffected eye too. 
So if you put this on the unaffected eye, it just darkens it out and makes the eye less likely to move around. Okay, so the eye pads usually always come with a little set of Steri strips. You can use tape as well. And you can put them, like I said, if there's no penetrating injury on this eye, you can put it on this eye. If you want to put it on the unaffected eye, just to keep the sun and stuff like that out, you can put that on there like that. You can still use your donut roll to give you that space you need between the, because between the, there'll be a fly basically hanging out here, or a hook hanging out here. So you just gently just kind of place it so it supports, kind of splints around the eye. And then you would just take this guy, just real lightly wrap it around. Doesn't need a lot of pressure on it. Just basically what you're trying to limit is you're trying to limit the uh, dirt, sediment, light, and anything that's gonna distract the eye to move. That's all this bandage is designed to do. So basically after you get the dressing on, um, you get your buddy or whoever back to the vehicle, you wanna go to the, uh, the local emergency room. You're not gonna be able to take care of this at home or um, uh, at, uh, in the field. And I can only stress going to an actual emergency room too. There's a lot of like local clinics and stuff like that that may not be able to um, efficiently handle like a fish hook in the eye. These are injuries that I have dealt with uh, in my work uh, a number of times so I hope you got a little bit of information out of it and uh, hopefully you tune in next episode. I'm uh, Dave from Cross Current TV. I'll see you later. And I'm Kevin and I can't see anything. At Cross Current TV, we want to hear from you. We'll take your questions and ideas posted to our Facebook or YouTube pages and use them for future episodes. And click here to check out the trailer for our first fly fishing adventure movie, Cast Alaska, available now on DVD. My first aid kit comes with a, um, a set of iPads too. Not to be confused with the Apple <laughs> iPad. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to get way too, uh, way too comedic like. <laughs>